Waiting for Instagram. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. Today, I just finished recording um, all of the classes for our free five-day challenge starting next week, and I can't express to you enough how excited I am about this, in part because, one, I got it all done, and that's really relieving to me, but two, because of the format and the way that we're doing it, and I just think it is so inviting and so awesome for anyone who is interested in starting yoga and getting back into daily yoga, into building a daily yoga practice, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why we're talking daily practice here. Um, I mean, I'm celebrating. I'm wearing my crop top today, you guys. Facebook can't really see it, but I'm wearing my crop top today, and as a mom with two kids, this is a big deal for me to wear a crop top, but I, I trust the, uh, the young people and Generation Z. Um, for and I thank them for the body positive movement and for uh, you know, I guess encouraging and, and making it feel safe for me to wear a crop top because it's really liberating and fun. Anyway, that was an aside. Let's talk about the five day challenge. So for the five day challenge it starts next week. It's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It begins April nineteenth. If you do it live with us, you can also do it self paced after if you prefer. We have a whole system set up to support you. So this is how it works. You sign up, totally free. You're going to get a couple of email, one email from me right away, and then a couple a little bit later um, that will drip out later in that day where we'll give you all the support that you need to uh, orient, to know what's going on with the program, to understand like what you're doing. I mean, but it's really simple. Literally, you're just doing your own self-paced yoga class every single day. But we like to give you a lot of support to make that happen. And I totally get that sometimes it can be really jarring and difficult to start something new. Um, and especially, I think, you know, the, the cultural zeitgeist, the mentality and the greater thought of like still how we view fitness in which yoga is included um, often, even though I would kind of, I would personally categorize it different from fitness. Uh, but yoga is in fitness and I, I totally understand that, um, how that can be true. So let's talk about why we would do daily practice in the first place. What's the point? Why would we do that? Um, and what are the benefits? And then we can kind of go from there and you can see if this is something for you. So uh, what are the benefits of, a, of doing daily practice? Well, one, uh, anytime you're starting something new, anytime you've decided I'm gonna start caring about my health and my well-being, the biggest thing that you can do to make that actually happen is to develop an anchor habit. That is a habit in which you do and commit to every single day, and then you use that habit to help build into other awesome habits, other habits that are gonna support you, other habits that are gonna make it possible for you. Uh, and what you do with the with this, with the daily challenge, with the daily yoga practice, is it gets to be your anchor, anchor habit. And what's so awesome about this anchor habit is that not only is it, okay, this is a thing I'm gonna do, it's just 15 minutes, it's pre-recorded. it's completely flexible in terms of time. The, the classes that we did are really attainable, I would say for most people, maybe not everyone, this isn't an accessible yoga class, this is a, um, you know, but it is beginner friendly, it is very much like, you know, all levels. And the way, oh, hi, Lisa, um, and the way that we, oh, and hi, Lisa, other Lisa, and hi, Mary Jo, hi, everybody. Um, so, the reason that we want to do a daily practice is because when we do something like yoga, uh, different from fitness, again, putting it outside that category, when it's different from fitness, um, well, yoga specifically really helps, one, to elevate your mood, um, helps you connect to your mind, to your body, to your being. You can't help but like become aware of what's happening inside your body. And when you do that, suddenly other habits start to come along with it. So things like um, you know, deciding that you want to, you know, have, I'm not, I'm like so afraid to say the wrong thing, but like you can eat a little healthier when you've, when you've been practicing regularly. Um, for the people that we've heard from recently, everyone's talking about kind of like the same themes. I wish I was eating healthier. I wish that I had more motivation. I wish I was a little bit happier. I wish I had, um, more, I don't know, just like anchoring to habits, good, good habits, good choices. Daily movement elevates your mood, it makes you happier, and when you're happier, let's face it, it's much easier to do other things that you want to do but feel stuck not able to do. That's a really common in depression, something I'm really familiar with, um, and when I am not showing up on the mat, I don't want to show up on the mat because I don't actually want to 
elevate my mood. When I'm ready to like get out of that funk and get back into my life, then practicing daily, especially for just 15 minutes is really, really amazing and life changing. And it changes really quick after that. Um, not only does it elevate your mood, but it also improves your productivity and your effectiveness. So if you're somebody like me who really cares about like being able to be effective in my work because I work as much as I need to, to get things done. When I practice, I am more effective in my work. So I don't have to work as long. That might not be true for you, but if you are like a project based um, employee, if you were the kind of person that has like, especially where a lot of us are remote, um, it's less about the hours in most cases, not every case, but in most cases, it's less about the hours and more about the effectiveness. And if that's true for you, then gosh, like, 15 minutes of practice, you're more effective in your work. It saves you time. You get more done. I say that's a win-win. More time for Netflix and lounging. Um, Another thing that's super, super important and one thing that's really, you know, like yoga way better than than most other um, forms of exercise and movement and even mindfulness because it has all the pieces together, uh, including breath work and you know meditation. Um, yoga really helps a lot with executive functioning. Now, executive functioning, uh, we talk about that a lot in like yoga for kids and yoga for teens, but yoga, executive functioning also super important in adults, super important with moms, super important with people who um, you know want uh, to keep their working memory, their uh, ability to be flexible, their ad- adaptivity, um, their ability to have self-control. Like all of these things are part of executive functioning. All of them are supported by regular, regular yoga and mindfulness practice. And I want to talk a little bit about regular versus like volume of time. So it's really common and a habit that I see a lot and I'm like this, so I get to call us all out on it. Um, I used to love to be like a once a week, I'll practice for 90 minutes, but I just want to do it once. A lot of startup time, a lot of lead time to like get to a studio and then get back. And so for me, um, doing it once a week, that's attainable. I can do that. The thing is that like in terms of serving your body and your overall well-being, you are far better off practicing for less time more often than you are from practicing the same amount of time once a week. And so that's really, really important when we're talking about executive functioning and definitely when we're talking about improving mood and improving productivity and effectiveness. If you work out for, or if you do a practice that is 60 to 90 minutes long, that's actually probably gonna wear you out for a while. Like it's probably gonna take a lot out of you. And so all of those benefits that we would see immediately if we did for less time um, will actually not really fall into place for a while until the body's really in the habit of that practice. So. Uh, in terms of like, if we're looking at elevating mood, elevating executive functioning, getting great working memory, getting really good with flexible thinking, then a shorter daily practice is your jam. That is what you want. So if that sounds good to you, and I could talk all night, I could talk for hours about this stuff. So um, I won't keep you all too long. But if you want to join our free daily um, five day challenge, it starts Monday. It's all pre recorded. It's ready. I'm I'll edit the videos and get them up really soon. Uh, we already have the landing page and I'm working on some additional like coaching and then freebies that are gonna go in with this. I will be live in our Facebook group and probably on Instagram every day next week uh, on Thursday at 11 a.m. EST. And I'll be in here talking about strategies, tips, ways to get to the mat, reasons why I'll give you all the things because I think it's really important to be reminded and to know about them. So if you have any questions, you can always post in the group. You can always um, check in with us and you can always um, you know, share, share your questions in Facebook or on Instagram and we'll get back to you and, and try to include those in the daily Q&As. Um, and then from there, I'll, I'm gonna have a kickoff Sunday night at around seven in our Facebook group, in our, um, on Instagram and I'll make sure that you all have that as well. So we'll do a little kickoff. I'll talk a little bit about the program. I'm going to tell you the same things that are also on the pre-recorded videos, but I'll give you a little bit more tips and strategies for like really nailing this. Um, I, what I want for you, and I really want to be a little inflexible about this, which is odd for me. It's like a really, it's a big departure from how I normally am. I really want you to commit to five days. Not two, not one, not like when you can. I want you to show up for five days next week. It's 15 minutes a day. The practices are not gonna burn you out. They're not gonna push you too hard. They're not gonna be too much. It's just a little bit of everything. Um, And if you can show up for those five classes, five days in a row, 
at your schedule, then we have something to work with to start to build in a deeper practice and really like give you these um, improved memory, better discernment. Don't even get me started. Like that is like discernment is such an important thing. Um, and I will talk about that next week in the coaching um, because it is, is such an important strategy and support for that comes from yoga and is really, really important for all life, especially for our aging population, especially for, um, I think parents really need a lot of discernment, but I would also say for people that are younger, um, who maybe like don't necessarily have the, um, (laughs) the jadedness of life to fall back on discernment can be really important in terms of trusting and deciding and making decisions and trusting your intuition. And all of this comes when you show up on your mat regularly and it all comes from just taking care of your well-being and making that the priority ahead of your to-do list, ahead of your work schedule, ahead of everyone else's needs. When your well-being is first, the world kind of shifts and adapts and in a good way. And that is what I want for you. So thank you all for joining my live, for hearing, for like checking in. I would love to hear from you. If you want, you can comment either on the video or, um, you know, anywhere on our social channels, we're going to be posting a lot of everywhere about this challenge so that you can get access to it. And again, as soon as you sign up, you get sent to the, the web page and you'll get a ton of resources for how to like get your schedule set up and get your schedule set up and get ready for next week. There we go. It's going to be amazing. You guys, I'm super, super excited. And Oh, hi, Amy. Um, and I can't wait. And I hope you all have a wonderful time and have as much fun as I did creating these as we go together. So have an awesome week. Have an awesome weekend. Make sure you sign up. I'll put the links everywhere so that you have them. And I'll see you all on live next week. Be well, yogis. Bye.